Since the start of the coronavirus pandemic, a record 40 million Americans have filed for unemployment. In July, an estimated 30 million reported not having enough to eat. That's one in every 10 households. Yet that same month, JP Morgan, the same financial institution that helped cause the 2008 recession and received billions of taxpayer dollars in bailouts, posts one of its best quarters ever. During the first weeks of the pandemic, as the unemployment rate in America nears 15%, the billionaire's wealth actually increases. The American economy has been completely divorced from the fates of the people. Um, this is a, a sad fact that we can see when unemployment numbers go up, but stocks rise. And the truth is that this notion that somehow or another the economy is somehow or another simpatico with the fates of the people is, is a complete fiction. As people do poorly, the banks can still do well because more is being borrowed, more is being spent. The government printed a trillion, two trillion, three trillion dollars. The more they print, the better the balance sheet is for the lender. And that's, that's the thing that matters. So you can end up with everybody poor and out of work, two thirds, three quarters of the people out of work. But the ones who've got that S&P 500 index fund, that's still going up. Of course, we're seeing one industry after another being bailed out, but it is made more and more clear by the day that the fate of American people themselves is not being taken into consideration and is certainly not given the weight of taking care of businesses and corporations. During a pandemic and the worst unemployment crisis in modern history, needy Americans scrape by on modest government handouts. You have a job, you don't get health care. You don't have health care, you die. Barely anybody makes enough to pay off their debts or afford a decent standard of living. You have to care about yourself the most and you barely have any money left over to care about anybody else. These problems aren't invisible to the people who have the power to do something about them. Think about this. Amazon has 876,000 employees. If Jeff Bezos gave each employee a $100,000 bonus, he would still be richer than he was at the start of the pandemic. If we tax 60% of the windfall gains these billionaires made from March 18th until August 3rd, we could raise over $420 billion. That's enough revenue to pay all of the out-of-pocket health care expenses for every man, woman, and child in this country over the next 12 months. So that's the choice that we have to make. Bernie Sanders gives voice to a popular movement of young Americans, an existential threat to the wealthiest people in the country. It is morally obscene for billionaires to use a global pandemic as an opportunity to make outrageous profits and to very substantially increase their wealth.